starts just above the aortic wall, the same origin as that of right coronary artery. It starts and it gives two main branches. One branch descends downwards, goes posteriorly, and anastomosis with posterior interventricular artery. As this artery descends along whole its course, it is named as left anterior descending artery. This artery is the largest branch of left coronary artery and it supplies to larger area of left heart. It supplies to anterior part of interventricular septum, greater part of left ventricle, left bundle branch of his. Okay. Now the another branch here goes all around the heart goes posteriorly and gets anastomosis with posterior ventricular artery. As this is going all around the heart, it is named as circumflex artery. This circumflex artery posteriorly gives a branch called as left marginal artery. You know we have a marginal artery on the right side also but this is on the anterior aspect of the heart and this is on the posterior aspect of the heart in between these two another branch is given this artery divides the angle formed by circumflex artery and LED so it is termed as diagonal artery this is the total course and branches of left coronary arteries. So in left coronary artery we have total 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 main branches.